Alec Pierce at the ranch. Here we are, a beautiful day at the ranch. It's been a fantastic summer. We're getting into autumn now. Diana's flowers are starting to die, and, and uh, pretty soon I'll be able to get my snowmobile out. Yes, <laughs> anyway. Today, we're gonna take a look at my wagon train. That's what the neighbors call it. When I go down the road, they laugh at my wagon train because we have the Ranger. <clears throat> fantastic with a, with a uh, good-sized um, thing on the back box I guess on the back and uh, tips and tailgate the whole thing and we use this to carry uh, cut wood you've seen my, you've seen in my previous videos how we cut wood and then we throw the split wood into here take it over to the woodshed and stack it and I made these sides these are very simple just uh, one inch rods pop in like that and pop back down like that <coughs> around to increase the capacity the uh, tailgate will certainly carry the extra weight, uh, but unfortunately you get up to a certain height and it starts falling out, so we put those in, and that's been really good. Then we got a trailer, uh, nice trailer, 1,500 pound capacity, pretty amazing actually for a, not an overly expensive trailer. This particular one has four wheels and it steers. Ah, it's good and bad. But anyway, it's a good trailer and uh, we like it. We use it a lot, all kinds of things. Right now it's half full of rocks and uh, and uh, sometimes we have dirt in it. Sometimes we have uh, uh, whatever we need. And I made another matching, matching <laughs> set of sides for it. For the same reason, just to increase the capacity because 1,500 pounds. You know, you can put a lot of stuff in here. And particularly, because we also use this for firewood, you start stacking the firewood up, and you could take it to the woodshed, and you look back, and you got a trail of firewood. So I put size on this as well, to uh, to increase the uh, number of uh, sticks, number of pieces of firewood to begin using. That works really, really well. And then we had this trailer. This is an old trailer. We've had this for quite a while. This has actually got a John Deere sticker on it. I don't know if uh, if John made this himself. I doubt it very much. He he probably called up his Asian friend and said, make me a nice trailer. Uh, I think, who knows? It's been a good trailer. It's tough. And now this is a single axle trailer. No steering like that, but it does dump. Both of these dump, uh, but it's a good trailer too. And I did the same thing. I made up a uh, uh, an extra capacity uh, wall around it, racks around it, matching the whole thing, right? <laughs> what the heck, right? So, uh, and this is easy too, just pieces of uh, two by two shaved to fit down into the slots and a ha half inch plywood bolted. I, I'm, I'm big on bolts rather than screws. Screws work you know, but uh, <clears throat> they work loose. So I'm big on bolts. It has a, has a uh, carriage bolt on the inside, washer and a nut on the outside, it makes it good and tight. Now, just recently I made a small change because these things rattle like the devil. So what I did is I had some of this <coughs> steel angle kicking around. You can pick this up Home Depot anywhere at all. And this looks like inch and a half steel, I don't know what it's called, angle iron with lots of holes in it. And uh, I, I cut some pieces, you can see them here. Can you see this, Kev? <clears throat> you see here? I just cut a, that looks like about four inch piece of that iron, angle iron. And I, again, I used bolts. And in this case, I used hex bolts because this is steel. So I hex bolt, washer, and a lock nut on the inside. Put that on. Now, it's really solid and quiet. The, down, the singular downside is, it's a little difficult to get off myself. But fortunately, I have a, a young, beautiful, strong wife <laughs> who, who often who often jumps when I call her name? <laughs> between the, I mean, this doesn't weigh anything, so we just lift it off. So there you go. That's my wagon train, and it works really, really well. So now, when we do our firewood, we uh, cut the logs, we split the logs, and we throw the split logs directly into these wagons and fill these up nice and full. We try to do it neatly, get more in that way rather than just a random toss. And we can get a lot of firewood in here. I'm not sure how much exactly doesn't matter, but we can get a lot. And then when we got these three full, we drive over to the woodshed and stack it in the woodshed. Yeah, done. So it makes it nice, neat, quick, and easy. I thought you might want to see how we did that and the angle iron. One more thing, <clears throat> I ran into a, a little practical problem. For some, well, I know why. Uh, this tongue on this trailer moves up and down. So it hooks directly onto the back of the Ranger with a standard half inch pin, no problem. This trailer, however, <clears throat> for, for some reason, has a very, very low tongue. I think you can see there, Kev, this trailer, 
even when it's, when it's level. You see there, it's about level. See, the tongue is only six or seven inches off the ground, very, very low tongue. So I wanted to connect this to that one. It had to be that way. If that one steers, it makes it very difficult. We couldn't do it the other way around. Plus, this has a bar across here to attach to. So, initially, I got a flat piece of steel and bent it a bit, welded it on down there. <clears throat> but first of all, that flat piece of steel had too much flex, so it would bend in no time at all. And secondly, I didn't have it nearly far enough <clears throat> down to get this reasonably level. So, I ended up doing this. It's just a piece of uh, one inch square steel tubing. That's all it is, one inch square. And uh, <clears throat> I cut a 45 degree V up here <clears throat> and down there. Obviously, I measured, uh, bent it, welded it around. So, now we have this, <clears throat> this uh, double legged L, uh, small bolt goes through that rod and through the bed, <clears throat> and then a large hole down there, a half inch hole down there for this. Uh, and it works pretty well. It's very simple, <clears throat> but the point is, <coughs> pardon me, I had to make that hitch and I had to make it to adjust it so that this wagon, when it's on there, is reasonably level. Now the only thing I've already noticed is that that piece of uh, one by one steel tubing that I used is pretty light. I don't know if this is going to last very long. Uh, I may have to make another one and I'll use much heavier tubing. But anyway, that's our wagon train that we use for a lot of things. And uh, soon we'll be finishing up with our firewood and it'll carry a lot of firewood. So I thought I'd share that with you. It looks good and it works really well too and easy to build. Scrap lumber. Maybe there's something in there that you might say, uh, hey, gosh, I could do that and to make your wagons more useful. I don't know, whatever. Talk to you soon. Alec Pierce at the ranch. Thank you.